Hi, it's Danny here and welcome to another Tech Fix video. In this video we're going to take a look at the Pro Connect features of ProWise 10. So built into ProWise 10 is um, a feature called ProWise Connect which lets you connect uh, devices uh, to your ProWise presentation for connecting student devices to do voting. So I've got a ProWise presentation here I've set up already. Uh, all you've missed is I've just logged into ProWise Presenter um, and I've got the page here. Down the bottom of the screen this icon here will let me turn on Pro Connect. I just need to click on Start and what it will do is put up on the screen here a joining code so what I'll need to do is connect to that. What I'm going to do is um, take that code 11376514 and I'll put that into my browser. So I'm just going to switch windows to a browser over here and I'll put in my name and I'll put in my, my group code so 11376514. What I'll also do um, is join on some devices as well in a sec. So I'm just going to join here to so click join button and that's now going to wait for me to start the activity. Let's go back to my screen. So I've got an iPad and my phone. I'm going to join on those as well. Um, I've joined on the ProConnect app on my iPad and I've joined on the browser on my phone. So on my phone I've just gone to connect.prowise.com and I've put in um, the, the user details there. Um, and on the browser, on my, on my other browser on the computer, I've gone to connect.prowise.com and we're all ready to go. So that's now going to sit there waiting for me to start an activity. So I've got um, the screen ready to go. Um, there's nothing here apart from um, I've just typed on screen. I've not added anything um, special to this screen apart from I've put a question in and I've got uh, five potential answers. So if you can see up here, um, this green bar is going to let me control Pro Connect. I don't want a true false vote. I want this to be an ABCDE vote. So down the bottom here, you can see I've got ABC. Uh, true and false and some colors. I'm going to click on ABC and that lets me choose what um, options I want to have. So I want ABCDE on this one. If I then choose send, that will throw that across to my devices. If I now switch back to my other browser, you can see that I've now got vote now and my iPad and my phone are doing the exact same thing. I've got that screen showing up. So I'm going to vote uh, for A, I'm going to vote B on my iPad, I'm going to vote E on my phone and then if I switch back over here I can see participants so if I then show the results I can see on the screen here who's voted for what and I can drop down if I want to and see um, exactly who has voted for which one. Let's hide the results for a second. Um, again this could be um, true false, could be ABCD, I want this to be a true false one so I've already got yes no or true or false, let's go for true false and send. So again my devices are now waiting for true on that one. Let's go back to my thing and again I can show the results and I can see live who's who's doing the voting, who's voted for what. I can hide that. Maybe I don't want to pick on particular students and actually em embarrass them by their individual answers. I want to see what the class as a whole thinks. This is quite a good um, maybe assessment for learning technique to use at the start of a topic, start of a lesson, end of a lesson just to see how people um, understand things. Obviously now with with a lot of lessons being taught remotely, um, this all works through the internet, no one needs to be in the same room. So if you were using your presentation across uh, a Zoom meeting, um, all the students could be uh, at home watching through their laptops and voting on their laptops. So you can be using this for a little bit of student engagement while they're, while they're remote and, and not in the classroom with you. The beauty of all this is I'm not setting anything up in advance. Okay, I've written these two slides um, in advance, but I don't have to. You could just write on the screen, your question or even just read a question out and then sort of you can just write okay the answer is going to be A, B, C or D and you, you write your words on here and you just throw a question out and then straight away you can say right this is going to be a um, multiple choice question and I want um, A, B, C, D this time, I've only got four things and so I'm just going to go send. They don't see anything on their screens apart from A, B, C, D. So it's not having to set up anything where you're setting up a proper quiz. Uh, you can just throw a question out there on the fly and ask them for their response. You can throw out true, false, you can throw out um, agree, disagree, those kind of questions. Or you can pre-prepare several slides with these A, B, C, Ds, multiple choices built in. If I go down the bottom here, um, I can click on there and I can stop. Or up the top here I can click on stop and that will end the ProWise session. And then on my screens here, you'll see that the group has been closed um, and it's waiting for another code. 
all I need to do to start again is go back into the browser, click on Pro Connect there, and start. It'll start again. The code will be different. It's generated uh, randomly each time. That's Pro Connect. It's built into ProWise version 10. As I said in the previous video, ProWise 10 is free. Pro Connect is free. So if you wanted some really quick, easy ways of getting the students to, to vote and interact with, with presentations during a, a classroom-based lesson or even a, a remote video lesson, uh, then you've got these tools. If you wanted to sign up for a free ProWise account, you can use it. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget uh, the Tech Fix videos are all about um, educational technology, things that you might find in the classroom, um, things that I find interesting that I want to share with you, tutorials and so on. If you like that kind of thing, please remember to click subscribe. Uh, please like the video. I'll make more of these. Um, I want to do some ProWise tutorials. I also need to go in and do some more things about Smart Notebook and um, Active Studio as well because um, a lot of people are still interested in, in how to do things on their whiteboards. So like the video, please subscribe, and I'll have another Tech Fix video for you um, soon. Thanks for listening.